Hello guys, my name is Dennis Kadu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. On this video, I'm going to show you how to create or add cartoon animation to your PowerPoint presentation. So before we get started, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do hit the subscribe. And also don't forget to turn on post notifications so you get notified when I post a new video. Thank you. So I'm going to head over to PowerPoint. So yeah, I am on PowerPoint. So I don't have a presentation right here. So I'm just basically going to show you how to create a cartoon and also how to animate the cartoon. So the first thing to do, I'm going to head over to the insert button right here and then I'm going to hit on the get adding button over here. So after hitting on the button on the search field, you are going to search for Pixton. So when the search is done, you are going to hit on the add button right here. So after adding Pixting, you are going to go over to your home button and then on the right end of your screen, you are going to see the Pixting button right there. So all you need to do is to click on it. So when the pane is open, you are going to hit on the Get Started button right here. So right here, you are going to select your cartoon type. So I'm going to hit on this guy over here. So up next, you are going to select the skin color or skin tone. So I'm going to select this guy over here. So right here, you are going to choose the type of hair. So I'm going to go with this. And then right here, you get to choose the outfit for your cartoon character. So I'm going to go with this guy over here. So the next thing is to choose a pose for your cartoon character. So I'm going to go with this one over here. So there are a bunch of other poses right here you can choose from. So that's it right there. That's basically how to create a cartoon character on PowerPoint. So now that we are done creating the cartoon character itself, so I'm going to show you how to animate your cartoon characters. So to do that, I'm going to create a cartoon scene right here in PowerPoint. So I'm going to head over to my browser and then I'm going to search for freepick.com. So right here in freepick.com, you have access to multiple illustrations. So first of all, I'm going to download the picture that I'll be using as the background of my scene. So I'm going to go over to the search field and then I'm going to search for town. So I'm going to download this picture right here. So I'm going to click on free download. And then I'm going to search for another picture I'm going to use. I'm going to search for canopy. So I'm going to click on download again. So as you can see, these pictures are in zip file format. So I'm going to extract the pictures from the zip file. And then I'm going to hit on this extract button right here. And then I'm going to select the location where my file will be extracted. So I'm going to do the same thing to the other one. So let's go back to PowerPoint and insert these pictures. So yeah, I'm a PowerPoint. So I'm going to insert the pictures I just downloaded from freepick.com. So now that I'm done inserting these pictures, so I'm going to move this one to the side first. And then I'm going to expand this background. So as you can see, I can no longer find my cartoon character. So it is hidden behind my background image right here. So I'm going to send this background image backward to make my cartoon character appear. So I'm going to hit on the picture format button right here. And then I'm going to hit on this send backward button. So when I do that, you see my cartoon character will appear. So I'm going to bring this canopy into the slide. And as you can see, my canopy has a background. So to remove the background from the canopy, I'm going to go over to the picture format again, and then I'm going to hit on remove background. So after I hit on the remove background button, PowerPoint is going to automatically remove the background of your picture. But as you can see, it did not do a very nice job. So I'm going to, so I'm going to manually add these details right here that is left out. So I'm going to hit on mark areas to key button, and then I'm going to carefully add the areas that are missing. So when I'm done, I'm going to hit on this keep changes right here. And then you see my background is gone. So I'm basically going to arrange these pictures on the scene. So I'm going to bring the canopy down here. And then for the character, the cartoon character, so I'm going to send it to the front. And then I'm going to resize it. So that's it. Right now we have a scene of Obi under his canopy. So right now I'm going to add more characters to the scene. So I'm going to go over to my home button and then I'm going to hit on the Pixting character button right here. And then the Pixting pane is going to open. So when the pane is open, you are going to hit on the recent button. And then you see your recent cartoons character that you have created. So I'm going to select this beautiful lady right here. And then I'm going to choose a pose for her. So I'm going to click on this pose right here. So I'm going to readjust her. Put her right over here so i'm going to make this a little bit smaller to make it look more realistic 
Okay, I think that's fine. So yeah, I have a scene right here of Obi under his canopy and here we have Neka coming to join. So I'm going to animate this lady right here. So I'm going to make her walk into the scene. So to do that, I'm going to head over to my slide right here and then I'm going to duplicate it. So to duplicate it, you are going to right click on it and then you are going to hit on the duplicate slide right here. So now you can see we have two identical slides. So, so I'm going to select the first slide and then I'm going to drag this lady outside the slide. So after doing that, I'm going to select the second slide and then I'm going to go over to transitions. So when I hit on transition, you are going to hit on the morph button under the transition. So I'm going to hit it right here. So when you do that, it's going to show you the preview. And then right there, you see Unika walking towards Obi's canopy. So I'm going to hit on the preview again to see what's going on. So that's it right there. That's how to add animation to cartoon character on PowerPoint. So how about we add an animation to Obi right here. So I'm to do that, I'm going to head over to Home and then I'm going to hit on Selection. And then you are going to hit on this Selection pin button down here. So when the Selection pin is open, so I'm going to select my character, the Obi character. So after selecting Obi, I'm going to go over to the animations. And then right here, I'm going to hit on Theta. So when you preview that, you see Obi getting excited at the sight of Neka. So that's it right there. That's how to add cartoon animations on PowerPoint. So if you find this video helpful, be sure to give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Turn on post notifications so you get notified when I post a new video. Thank you and I'll see you on the next one.